Awesome. Good morning. We're here. We are. <laughs> Although I feel like I'm still sleeping this morning, but that's okay. You didn't get as much sleep as you needed. I did not. No. No. And? Yeah. And then you did. And then I did. Exactly. Oh, well, yeah. you know, none of us really get as much sleep as we need, no, right? No, that we don't. Oh, look, Roxy Cobrook. Have we had Roxy before? I don't recognize that name. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Kathy Bernadette. I don't know if I've known no, know that's that a new name. Person that's too. Anyone. Very Donna, nice. Donna, Kathleen. <laughs> Good to see everybody. And two other people. And two other people. <laughs> That's what it says. Says I know. Screen. Yeah. <laughs> Until you actually say yeah. something in the chat group, we still know that you're here. That's right. But not always individually if they join, if people um, join too quickly at absolutely. one time. Hello, Jeanette Zabrowski. Nice to see you. Karen. Ah, it's foggy in Berkeley. Yep. Thank you. Oh, it's kind of misty <laughs> up here, too. Oh, Donna. The, the weather report this morning on our app said something that there is a category four wind river uh, i've never heard of that before. no i've never heard that before so they're either. making these new terms yeah. up <laughs> to scare us I, again i've heard of the uh not the the rain river i think is what they said the other day they're really? talking about yeah whatever <laughs> yeah wasn't wind and so we have the typical pineapple ex uh, express coming in right now. So. And they're not using that term. And uh, yep. pineapple express sounds so much nicer uh, than a category four wind river. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So, yes, um, I, I did hear that we're in for some windy A uh, little bit of wind coming up here. Yeah. Kathy Burr, good morning. Sylvie's here. Hi, Hello. Sylvie. Nice to see you too. Yes. Roxy, there she yes. is. Aww. Thanks, Roxy. I thought you said hello. That's great. You probably said hello before, but our brains are really, really able to forget things That's really right. easily. Yeah. So we That's have about our, maybe a two-hour window where yeah. we remember. Where we remember, yeah. It's like that movie, Fifty First Dates, right? Once you go to sleep, your slate is wiped clean. That's and, right. Yeah. Got no more memory. <laughs> no left. more memory. Hey, that happens to me too when I walk oh, into okay. a um, another a room. room. Yeah. Yeah. It's a threshold. Oh, wipes out all me my too. memory. Me too. I get up and I'm going for something, and I get over to an area. I go, okay, what the heck was I going for? <laughs> and you're the one that always has such a good memory. And actually, Richard mentioned the other day. He says, "I'm like you now. I can't remember, can't remember where everything. I am, what I wanted." <laughs> It does come back to me, but it's like if it's I do a, a sudden urge to <laughs> do something. I think mm. everyone recognizes that same Absolutely. syndrome. Yes. Probably too many things in our heads. Absolutely, yeah. Too many details. Exactly. Tammy yeah. says, heading home. Thank you. I'm so glad. And Judy's here. Uh, Judy Reg Regum? Yeah. Reg Regar. Regar. Uh, Beverly. Probably saying it wrong. Sorry, yeah. Judy. <laughs> Beverly is here. Karen Lark is here. Very hot, humid New Zealand. Ooh, yeah, I guess yep. so. It must be sort of the end of the summer for it, you guys, it right? It probably would be, yeah. Or midsummer. I'm not Mid sure. Midsummer. Karen Krause is here. Hello. It looks like a whole bunch. Jean Morrison Jean. is here from rainy Atlanta. Mary LaDuke is here. Hello. As lots of people yep. coming on board. Thank you so much for being with us. We really enjoy having you every yep. single Friday we morning. We do indeed. I don't know how long it's been. Has it been a year and a half or two oh, and a half? Yeah, I think we're going. <laughs> I think we're going on two and a half now. It's like, where does the time go? I'll but. say, we just constantly keep coming back to you. I think it's because we look forward to it. Yes. I think so. You know, the best part is Friday morning. Oh, it's Friday. It's Friday morning. And it feels to us like TGIF yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Because we're yeah. not doing our regular Friend. stuff when we're here. Friends are coming to visit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, what have you done this week just to catch up on? What have I done? Mm -hmm. Okay. You always um, ask me that, and I do so many things that I never remember One exactly. One thing you did Well, I've that been, you're very proud I've of. I've been working on the cat sampler so Excellent. and what i mean by working on the cat cat sampler is i've been taking taya's design and um charting it and writing the instructions and doing diagrams and so we can release it to so everybody can stitch it yeah so first we publish it then we That's release it. it and the thing yeah. is that all of that work is done by one person 
and quoting the editing of all of yes. that work. And yeah. I know that you have found occasionally, you've found mistakes here and there. No, oh, you have found Sorry. Any mistakes. Occasionally, <laughs> people find little things, but there are so few of them. I, I can't even imagine, like, people will let you know, right? If there's a little thing that's wrong. They do. That's wrong. Yes. And that, I know that makes you so. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, no! <laughs> <laughs> you love everything accurate and that's why Lisa is doing what she's doing because not only does she know stitching really well she knows what, the, what how to decipher my stitches yes. she knows how to calculate what color the threads are that I've used even though I give her yes. the packages they could sometimes be wrong and very often they are and I yeah because sometimes you change your mind and exactly. you write it on the list but then you take it out <laughs> exactly <laughs> And I don't bother telling And you anybody. don't bother telling me. And then you also have to do the entire chart over because my chart is absolutely always, always different. Totally, like about <laughs> half of it is not even That's right. the same. Yeah. And then you have to write the instructions with all the exact yeah. threads and the how thread many count, threads and the what direction kind of the stitch, stitch went. Yep. <laughs> You're getting better. At that. <laughs> I am getting better. I can pretty much follow along. Like, no, no, the needle didn't go that way. I know that. So. Isn't that amazing? And she has a um, the really good light and magnifier sitting over her, by her desk, and the computer's there, and all that is going on. Really deep concentration. And then you also write, do all the diagrams on a separate program. On a separate pro program, I do. Exactly. And then you do all of that, putting it all into a, um, what we call... Uh, it's it's done like in design. In design is yeah. a, a thing that yeah. designers use to produce books, magazines, yeah. etc. Yeah. And so that's basically it's a layout program. Yeah. So you can put your text here and your pictures there and all like that. Exactly. And then after that, she checks it. I add it twice. Once. I well, thought actually, you did twice. twice. Sorry. Exactly. I do twice. <laughs> Once first, really thoroughly, yeah, and then that's right. the second time, not yeah. so thoroughly. Well, so that's a lot of work that you do for every single yep, design. Every design. Mm -hmm. yep. I know. Yeah. So I'm very <laughs> excited about the cat sound. Very I much. am too. I don't know when we're going to re release it though yet. I don't know. I'm about halfway done. So hopefully by mid February I'll be completely done and then I can do the corrections, which takes uh, a couple of weeks. So yeah, we should be able to release. You're getting towards March? No, no. We're going to release in February. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pressure. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll agree to that today. <laughs> I think I think she's just going to agree and then just do it the way yeah, she I'll, wants to that, do it. Exactly. I already have something in my mind. So, yeah. <laughs> but I am looking forward to getting that done so I can move on to the next. The little um, cottages. Yeah, the little cottages. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Oh, you know, that's really good because we have a number of other things that you're also involved yes. in. And one of them is finishing. Um, yes. I wanted to just discuss because there's a bunch of people that have there said are, a few things. So let's just go and acknowledge those that's people. Right. That's good. Hi, Dory Davis. Midsummer. Karen Lark. Yeah. yeah, midsummer. Thank you. Good morning, Becky. And Dory says. Good. Hi, Dory. Good, ap good evening. From it's Prague. 50 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. Nice spring day. Oh, it is. Love this. Yes. Loretta's here. Pam yeah. Johnson is here. I just wanted to say to Dory, we're supposed to get up to 14 Celsius today. But we've got we'll like a, yeah, lots of rain coming. So and Loretta's here. Hi Loretta. Irina. Irina, hello. hello. Jennifer. <laughs> Everyone Thanks, needs Jennifer. a Lisa to fix mistakes. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I try to do my best, that's for sure. Everyone <laughs> does need a Lisa. So true. Thanks, Donna. I'm so grateful oh. that she's here. Lisbeth, the, hello. Lisbeth. Cynthia Tenney is Hi, here. Cynthia. Yeah. <laughs> and that's good. Yeah. We caught up. Yeah. We caught up. So what I was going to say is, oh, what I did this week. What, yes, exactly. What did you do this week? <laughs> <laughs> my big thing that I did. Actually, I did two things that I'm kind of proud of. One of them is, we had a real big problem accepting um, our U.S. Um, money for our new website. It's going to go into the website, and then it has to go into our U.S. account, yeah. which is in Canada. So I've been trying to make that work. For a good couple of weeks now. Two weeks, and this morning yeah. it, it finally worked. worked. <laughs> so happy. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> that will solve yeah. all sorts. Like we were accepting it, and then they would pay us out in Canadian, and yeah. the bookkeeping was just oh. Outrageous. It would have been horrendous. 
Yeah. By the way, those of you who went to do some uh, beta testing on our new website. Thank want, you. Yeah. And I want you to know <laughs> that one of the reasons is several people mentioned a few things. And one of the pe people said that um, why is a Canadian company having a website in U.S. funds? Yes. And yeah. the reason is the majority, literally 90 to 95 percent are either U.S. Yeah. or international. Yes. Yeah. And the U.S. currency, it was the easiest one and the most stable one yeah. that we could choose. We can only choose one. Exactly. It won't allow us to have multi-currency. No. On the other hand, you can look at the upper right-hand side and you can choose a multi-currency of your country just to see what it would be like in, in your currency. In your currency. Exactly. But it actually yes. gets transacted in yeah. U.S. funds. And, that, and we couldn't do both and we couldn't make uh, the price is stable enough if it was yes. Canadian funds. So from our point of view, we've done a lot of U.S. Um, uh, currency in, Absolutely. in 23 have. years. That's basically yeah. our main currency. Right. So yeah. we had to choose, and we chose that. And it yeah. wasn't because Canada isn't wonderful, okay? Exactly. <laughs> just we had to go with the most stable. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's funny because I think Canadians feel like we're second-class citizens sometimes when it yeah. comes to those kinds Absolutely. of things. Absolutely. But it was not for that reason. Yeah. It really wasn't. And we really wish we could work in Canadian funds. Yeah. But it's um, it's a currency thing, and we it just is. chose the most stable one. And, and we have found that a lot of Canadian companies are... Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Especially online. Absolutely. Like how many Canadian yeah. companies? I think there's at least four that I can think of that actually charge us in U.S. In US funds, funds. And we're yeah. all Canadian. And that, yeah, they're Canadian, so we're Canadian. I guess it yep. makes, makes it easier online. Absolutely. The second thing that I did that I'm really proud of is I started another cottage. You did. I yeah. did indeed. And there it is. It's coming. You can sort of see a little bit of it over here. It's kind of hidden. It's going to be want really to see cute. It. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it, and it's of course the Victorian cottage. And I see you took some things out from what I saw yesterday. Yes, I took out yeah. the, the very <laughs> fancy stuff and I'm putting in less fancy less stuff. Less fancy stuff. Easier stuff. And it's going to look like. And it's going to look like this yes. for those of you who have not seen this. I can hardly wait to start finishing those. Actually, you it know, was so that much was, fun. That was on my list yeah. of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know how that all of you who have done such an amazing job with your snow globes. Are you going to finish them like Donna did, like this one? Mm -hmm. I think this uh -huh. is a an example of Absolutely. how Donna yes. finished hers, which was they were so cute, both of them, different color, different color ribbon. It's really fun to do. Absolutely. And we have figured out how to do these. So the next time we finish one of the cottages, we're going to do the same thing. Absolutely. And we'll and make we're a video. Show. Yes. Right. We'll make a video. We'll make that. a video there. So there will be a. An example for you guys. And which will be available on the new website. Yes, it will. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what I was going to ask you all today, those of you who are doing the snow globe, how are you going to finish it? And the reason I'm asking also is because Viv um, Stock, I think uh, yeah. Viv's last name uh -huh. is, uh -huh. Viv mentioned that what you could do is you could cut out the snow globe uh, and maybe mount it on some cardboard uh -huh. or whatever. Yeah. And then um, you know that you can get... Uh, little metal um, place card holders. You know oh, when you're okay. when you're making yeah. your um, yeah. place card holders that you can get at Michaels, I mm -hmm. think, or mm -hmm. something like that for a nice fancy lunch or dinner. So she said you can mount them on something, and then you can hold up the mounted piece with a little place card holder. Which I think that's a brilliant idea. I think she said yeah. she sent me a couple of links on uh, Amazon. So if you just search Amazon, you might see a few. There's one that stood up like this and held the card like what? this, and there was another one that had a little curly wire that you could put your place card in between. Very nice. Right? Yeah. So that way they can stand up without going through too yeah. much trouble. You just want to maybe put some felt on the back or something yes. to finish it up. Yeah. That's a simple way to finish your snow yeah. globes. Thank you, Viv. Great idea. So that's what I did. That's what you did? Yeah. Okay. Amongst millions Amongst of other, other things. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Then Marina says, ciao. Yeah. Ciao back to you. Nice to see you. Viv. Hi, Viv. Uh, it's so sad that we have to refer to the U.S. I'm not yeah. sure what you mean, Sylvie. Yeah. Um, oh, you're Canadian, right? We don't have to refer to the U.S. at all. We just yeah. have U.S. funds. That's it. On our new website, and I don't want you guys to be in 
interpreting it that we don't care for Canadians because we certainly do being Canadian ourselves. Absolutely. But we have to go the way that the internet has gone. Yeah. So Tammy says, I think my snow globe will be a mini, mini banner. banner. What a nice yeah. idea. Not sure how she's going to yeah. finish it, Carol. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Yep. That was it. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> Anyone so else? How you're going to finish your snow globe? Yep. So all I wanted to say was the snow globes that are there are, are so cute. Cute, yes. And they're yep. varied, right? Yeah. The one thing that I did not realize was that the little girl was a little bit daunting for some people. Absolutely. And that was really a big lesson yep. for me. <laughs> Because I just put it on my computer. And w when you don't stitch it, you don't really know. Exactly. Yes. All yes. my other patterns I stitch myself yes. to make sure they're stitchable. That's right. And then you take things out. Exactly. <laughs> and so I might just have taken out the girl and Absolutely. made it a simpler made girl. It. Yeah. But what was interesting is there were a number of people who did do the little girl or turned her into a little boy or whatever. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. And wanted to like Cupid. Cupid. Right. So what was really interesting is some people chose not to do the little girl or boy and Cupid, but some people put in flowers and those are also Absolutely. gorgeous. So it wasn't yeah. like you had to do it the way I said it. Um, but those of you who find some parts of my designs not as easy, it's because if they're stitch alongs, I don't stitch them. Yes. So I haven't yeah. had the experience that you guys are having. Yeah. And now I've learned something. The, the way those are were constructed was very fine. Lots of quarter stitches yes. and half and stitches three quarter and stitches penny point and, and yeah <laughs> so that must be a little daunting when you yeah. first see them so thank you for understanding and uh, looks like uh, viv is so watching funny. in the car <laughs> but she's not the one driving good for you viv <laughs> that is a very smart idea hi sue oh you're here sue i hope you're feeling okay i haven't been in touch with you for a while so i hope things are progressing and uh, it looks like there's about 25 people here today, uh -huh. so it's not a busy day. And it's not a busy day. On live, no. which is fine. So I had another really interesting idea. I wanted to ask you about the how you're going to finish your snow globes. Yeah. I bet you people aren't coming because there's no more parts to the stitch along. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> but what else is on the list? Oh, sorry. The, in, the other part of the list is... Um, what kind of needlework did you first learn? In other words, work oh. that involved a needle. Yes. Not not crochet, because that's not a needle. That's like a curve that's, that's, yeah, thing. But absolutely. Like anything that you use as a needle. It could have been needlepoint, it could have been well, canvas work of some sort, it could have been counted cross, it could have been not counted cross, you know, the kind with the cruel needle, like what do you call that? Needlepoint, cool. yeah, cruel, cruel, cruel work, or kind of embroidery that's like free form. You know, did you do that, or what kind of needlework did you first start stitching with a needle, like embroidery of some I sort? I think mine was was either a needlepoint that I did, or it was those stamped pillowcases. Stamped pillowcases, yeah. weren't they amazing yeah. when we were kids? When we were kids, I love yes. them. So I can't, I can't quite remember which came first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're going to, um, you know, if people are, are going to be maybe putting it on the chat group, it'll be really great to see what all of you have uh, for stories about that. And Carol says she's watching from the courtyard. Yard, oh. uh, and Viv is on her way to it. Oh, oh, happy wedding. wedding. Oh, Very nice. Big family do. That's going to oh. be so nice, Viv. Donna says surface embroidery. Surface. So like what we're talking about, pillowcases, yeah. did you go on a like a stamp thing? Because that was really big oh, at one point. That was really big, really exactly. Big. And then they had the transfers. Yeah. You remember those? Yeah, you didn't get the pillowcase. Absolutely. You got, you got like a whole book of transfers yeah. and you had to iron them <laughs> on the pillowcase yourself. Yeah. And then do feather stitch and all these different kinds of stitches. Yeah. Carol says she's watching from the courtyard of, of middle school Aww. where she's working. <laughs> I, mean, I can care imagine. Of kids. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Care embroidery of pillowcases. Oh, so that's pretty common yeah. then. Looks like the very first needlework I did was freeform hippie stuff on my bell bottoms. Yeah, bell bottoms. <laughs> you and me both, Sue. That was my story. Yeah. I actually did do something when I was six, but uh, I think I didn't finish it or anything. My favorite was oh. the bell bottoms. Bell bottoms. Oh, and oh. all around the bell bottom, and then up the side. Oh, of the very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stylish. Yeah. Loretta also stamped pillowcase. Wow. Yeah. 
my mom taught me simple embroidery when I was real little. I remember starting something for my aunt, but never exactly. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> I'm sure it was a snap picture. picture. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, chicken scratch. What is chicken scratch? I'm is that kind sure. of like? Is that like on? Um, you know, uh, like gingham fabric. Is that? Oh, what, what, maybe it, yeah. it's called something, right? Oh. I'm sorry. It means something. Chicken scratch. It's not just yeah. like chicken Absolutely. scratching. Oh, and Carol's got to go back to work. Bye, Carol. Bye, Carol. <laughs> Cynthia says needlepoint continental. continental. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you did the long stitch in the back, that kind yes. of continental, or did you do like half crosses? Anyway, I'm just yeah. curious. <laughs> Self taught with cruel kits. I Kathy love Bird. those cruel kits. I like those cruel kits too. I did yeah. a few of those. Um, yeah. What were they? Sun Sunset? I think that was the brand, wasn't it? Yes, Sunset? there were these huge kits. You yes. could get them at a hobby store. Or Absolutely. And yeah. the one I did, I only did one of those, and it was of Neuschwanstein Castle, the one that's oh. modeled after, no, that Disney World has a castle. Oh. It's modeled after that. Is it Cinder castle. Cinderella's castle? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Sleeping yeah. Beauty's I castle? I don't know, one, one of, those, of those, anyway. Disney kind of used the model. Used the model for it, <laughs> right. <laughs> or changed it yeah. into that. And Kathy Bird also, um, oh, no, she just yeah. said that. Yeah, that's right. Oh, right. And then uh, Dory. Dory says, my grandmother did iron-on needlework embroidery on pillowcases or doilies and tried to teach me when I was a teenager. <laughs> it didn't stick with me. Exactly. Me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you have some of her stuff. That would be really nice to see. Absolutely. The only thing my grandmother did, she did a whole bunch of needlework. You know, the red work that you can uh -huh. see sometimes? Yeah. Those, um, she did them on... Uh, dishcloths yes because they were yep. porous and she could you know as a child really she was probably about four or five she did alphabets and a few other things and then when she got older like six or seven you know but yeah. she did really the school yeah. girl type sound mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. these teeny tiny stitches on regular fabric oh, okay it's just amazing yeah. when you see that stuff Judy Fiverick is here awesome so anyway, we have a few models. We do. We yes. do. We always come from model yeah. time. <laughs> kind of uh, show and show and tell. Show and tell. Well, well, the models that we have this time are also still about love. They are. And Valentine's yeah. because in honor of Valentine's Day. But they don't necessarily have to be made into a Valentine. That, yes. However, you can take parts out of some of these more complicated ones. And create a Valentine from those parts. You can indeed. Right? Yes. But in the meantime, these are all uh, Valentine-y or love-oriented um, pieces. Yes. What's our first one? The first one is the Heirloom Wedding Treasures. And it's a group with a pillow cover, a flap for a purse, a um, bookmark, and a little um, kind of jar. A jar like thing. I don't like think, thing. Yeah, the jar is on there too, yeah, isn't it? It is. So this is the pillow, mm -hmm. which I'll show you a little bit closer. You can't really see the wonderful hills and valleys of this um the middle part, but oh it is it is it's almost focusing. focusing. <laughs> almost. It's trying really yeah, hard. Really hard, absolutely. So let's see if we can cover oh yeah, there we there go. We go. Yay, I got That's to show a, it to you. A pretty design. It really is. And it says yeah. love, love, love all around it. So I had to include yep. it, right? Exactly. And that one's on there too. Nice little, let's see if I can get it. That's the um, jar the cover. circle, right? The, the circle. The wreath or yeah. whatever it's called. It's you can make an ornament out of it or what from, have you. Take it from the middle yep. of this. And then there's this little guy. The little bookmark. The bookmark is also oh. fun to do and can be for a Bible or Absolutely. something like that. It has the word love on it. You can hardly yeah. see it because we have Let's this in like white on white or white on cream. White right? on cream. Yeah, exactly. And it is finished with backing fabric on the Beautifully. The and then this is a little purse that the bride can carry. And I put my friend's name in there. And it does have um, some all of the hardanger from the wedding sampler the it heirloom does. wedding sampler Absolutely. on it so i just thought just the wedding sampler hardanger was enough by yep. itself to make this beautiful purse really cute and i think walking down the aisle if you have this under or or um you know wearing this that goes really well with your wedding dress and you can put your cell phone in it 
Exactly. Just in case you need to make an emergency call while Actually, you're walking down that aisle. <laughs> Or you get a text from your ex or something. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's me, but number 64. <laughs> I never thought of that. You're so funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, who said you weren't right on top of things? There we go. So putting those away. And that was number 64. And then, of course, along with that goes the actual wedding sample, yeah. which, oh, I have, you got I have my little thing up. Yeah. There we go. And it's leaflet number 27. And you can see the little hard anger. Down yeah, that's, here, that that's match. literally the, the purse. Yeah. Right? I think that's the purse. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I've got it back in the plastic on it. And so the actual one is in the front. And then yeah. in the back is, is the this smaller, smaller version. one with, see, this is the one that I was looking yes. at for the Valentine. Part. Absolutely. Like you could do the that. box top. Exactly. So which is basically show. just the, the top part part. <laughs> It's a heavy piece. I got glass in front of this one, which yeah. I'll never do again because it makes it so heavy. Absolutely, and it's hard. You get a lot of reflection off of it. Exactly. So, so don't mind me, but I'll just go down it fairly quickly. This is the large one. Yes. And I guess the easiest way to show it complete is, is to go, go back. way back here, but I don't know. Yeah, you're going to get a I'm lot gonna of have reflection. To go sideways, I think. Yeah, there otherwise you get reflection. <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> Bump, bump. <laughs> okay, so that was that one. That was hanging on my um, on my wall upstairs in our the way where we live. This one doesn't have glass in front of it. It's the smaller it's one. It's the smaller one. So this one. Yeah. Or this one, There's which is smaller, smaller like a lot smaller. And then you can see the beautiful heart at the top with all the are those bullion knots? Yes, they are. What? What was I thinking? You were thinking how much fun they are to do. <laughs> <laughs> I Actually, I like doing bullion knots. Yeah, and these are kind of fun because they pinwheel out of the center. Absolutely. Uh, I just am trying to get it to focus, okay? So this just take me a minute. Maybe it'll focus. No, it's not going to focus. Oh, you almost had it there. There. Oh, nope. almost. Oh, almost. Oh, oh, it's getting, yeah. oh, it's getting yeah, excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's the heart. And if you just do the heart, you'd be so surprised to see how pretty that is all by itself. And then at the bottom, the heart hanger at the bottom of this one is not nearly as um, complicated. So that would actually make a cute little foam purse right there. Absolutely. But here's where the heart is used as a box top. And it's the same heart, really. Oh, now it focuses. Now it focuses. Darn it. And look, it's got lots of pearls on it. It does. Just rich with pearls. I should have actually one of those that, uh, these days glue that down into the box. I know. We haven't glued it down, but no. we didn't want to. No. So there you go. <laughs> number 27. That was number 27 it and was. 64. It was. Yeah. And that's a whole set for the wedding. Yeah, for the wedding. Um, cross stitch on gingham fabric. Fabric done with colored square. That's chicken, that's scratch. chicken scratch. Thank you, Becky. Yeah. I kind of thought it was the gingham, but yeah. I wasn't sure what you did with yeah. it anymore. So I guess I'll have to look it up now. Kathy says, Needlepoint, Jean McIntosh, Highland Dancer oh, Kit. Wool. I remember <laughs> that one. I've seen it on so many walls. It was so cute. Finished it in one day and was hooked. Wow. I bet you were hooked. <laughs> 124 hours, you did that? Wow. Well done. No wonder you're hooked. Been to the real Neuschwanstein Castle in the snow. Oh, Me yeah. too, Karen. <laughs> Years later, I did go there, and then I recognized, oh, that's what oh. <laughs> My whole family and I went for a trip um, driving around uh, Germany, well, f Germany, and then um, Bavaria, which is where it is, and then France. And it was oh, a, very nice. an amazing journey, but seeing that in the moonlight one night, we stayed there. We ended up staying in the in a little motel. Oh, very nice. Hotel yeah. With the, with the picture window looking up at the castle, with which was all lit up. Nice. I would have liked to have seen it in the yeah. snow, though. <laughs> that would gorgeous. be pretty, yeah. Yeah. And oh. Karen Burzak. Yeah. Good morning. Grandmother taught me when I was about six. six crosses yeah. on gingham. gingham. Yeah. That is actually a really easy and fun way for a kid to learn. Absolutely. Right? And it yeah. <clears throat> does kind of make you put your needle in the exact and, right spot, the right spot. And, yeah, yeah yeah that's cool thank you karen thank you, you like yeah. the ring pillow good morning, good morning susan, susan robinson good, good morning, morning. Petra. 
She always puts an ah at the end of things. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Good morning, ah. Uh. <laughs> Karen thought I was funny. <laughs> Thanks, well, Karen. you are. You're very funny. <laughs> Emergency <laughs> phone calls. <laughs> it just came to me. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah, you are funny. Yeah. I remember when I first met Lisa and Richard and I were talking later. Oh, it was great when Lisa comes to work for us. And he said, yeah, I think I'm going to call her laughing Lisa. She's always <laughs> smiling. And you always got a good sense of humor. <laughs> monochrome Hardinger is so lovely. Isn't it? It is. I agree. Absolutely. And even yeah. if the monochrome is like tone on tone of, like if you have pink fabric, you got pink yeah. um, uh, coaster box and weaving, it's still... Gorgeous, yes, absolutely. I agree. It was actually my total favorite all the time to have it monochrome. But then I liked also showing, you know, the color. contrast yeah. and the color <laughs> and stuff. Anyway, there it is. A beautiful, lovely. Trisha says, lovely. Thank you. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Is here. Rita, Rita is here too. Oh, she's in Mexico again. How lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that where Carolyn's going? Or is she yeah. going to Cancun? No, uh, well, oh, I'm not too sure where Carolyn is going. She but might she's be going, going to Puerto Vallarta, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. going to be going pretty soon. And Carolyn is one of our wonderful staff yeah. who works a couple of days a week. She does? Mm -hmm. Just in the mornings, but she does a lot of different things, and mm -hmm. we're really happy to have her with us. And now we're getting to know her a little better. She's actually letting in on all the things that she's doing yeah. down in, <laughs> in Mexico. Which she apparently plans to sit by the pool, I think. Which is so. mainly nothing, exactly. <laughs> Hi, Hi Deb. Deb. Welcome. Glad you're here. Jean oh, says iron on transfers. <laughs> Me too. I think those iron on transfers were one of my favorite things to look at. I never did. I did do the iron on part and then uh, that was you all didn't I did. You did the embroidery <laughs> part. <laughs> I don't know why I never got, uh, got into it. I think I started embroidering much later. Like, you know, being a hippie, you've got to put your yeah. embroidery on first. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are really good answers. Thank you very Absolutely. much for sharing. It's kind of interesting to find out how people got started with needlework entirely because we didn't all start with, you know, I don't know, specialty stitches or we didn't all start with counted work. No, either, we didn't. No. Uh, depending on our age group. Um, mm -hmm. But also, what if you hadn't been taught when you were a child? What if you didn't look at other people's stitching and you just started when you were like 30 or 40 or whatever? You would have maybe done different kinds of things. You would have maybe started with, um, I don't know, if it was 40 years ago for me, it would have probably, that is actually my hippie day. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, think back 40 years. Okay. Yeah, don't even know that. Yeah. Well, no, that would have been 1980. Yeah. 40 years ago, so yeah, 1980. Yeah. I think yeah. stamped is still pretty cool. It's still stamped, yeah. Yeah, yeah, even now, I think it would be kind of cute. Dora says, okay. hello, ladies. Hi, Dora. And we have two we more have two patterns. More. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And you're going to tell them what it is. It's called Golden Dream Sampler. You actually originally defined this for one of our retreats. And um, it's a really fun little piece to stitch. It's not that big. No, it's not that big. Not as small as a bookmark. No. Because as you see, it actually is a fair... Like it's a little bit wider than the usual bookmark. And it has a lot of detail in it that you don't see on the picture. We, at those days, we didn't yeah. do very good pictures. We're getting a little better now. But there is the, the usual Bargello, which I love to Absolutely. put into certain things. And there's the sun. The hem stitching. And then there's lots of hem stitching and pulled work, which you can barely see if I just hold it steady. Maybe you will see it. And then, of course, together we stand on the threshold of a dream mm -hmm. and some more little butterflies and then some more pulled work and hem stitching. And there's the two little people standing there with a heart between them. And basically, that is the, the theme of this thing is we stand together because sometimes you want to make a nice wedding sampler. Absolutely. And this is really And not cute. spend a lot of time on it. <laughs> That's right. This is not Absolutely. time consuming. And, and I love the verse because it isn't necessarily um, for 12, uh, sorry, for people who are younger who have never been married before. Yeah. This is more like for people who have been married oh, before. Yes. Yeah. Right? So if, it can be for both, obviously. But for people who are not, um, have already had the big wedding and they don't really need very much more, 
um, like they go to a justice of the peace or something simple. Mm -hmm. This is a really good way to Absolutely. Uh, offer them something they can hang on their wall and remember their special day. And that's leaf at number 23. Hmm, 23. 23. Tell us, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 23. That's a while ago. <laughs> it is, because I think we're now up to what, 220? Yeah. In, in the leaflet? That's, we're yeah. 200 past that. Yeah. 200 <laughs> past that, yeah. It's like, wow. It's amazing, uh, eh? My oh. first count across the what? Put one a blue, blue ribbon, ribbon at the, the county count. fair. <laughs> that must have really encouraged you. Absolutely. Them. That's what we do best. Sorry. Yeah. Rita says, that's what we do best down. Not yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Watch when you're water, down in Mexico. Right? Look for whales. I um, started with stamp pillowcases, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's no nice. Oh, very thing, nice. Right? The crocheted yeah. edging. Edging. Very Ooh, nice. Yeah. Tea. Jennifer started in her 30s with counted cross stitch. Very nice. And that's a good, actually, a good Absolutely. age to learn things. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't do counted cross stitch until I was in my mid 30s. I mean, my kids were, yeah, no, maybe not mid 30s, early 30s. Probably. Yeah, early 30s. Yeah, I yeah. started cross stitching then. I think it start, just started to get really popular. Popular. I think I started in my late teens, early 20s, and then it kind of disappeared for a while. Exactly. Yeah. And then it came back. And then with it a came back. Force. No, I did other things in between. So, <laughs> and now this is basically all I do. I haven't even really quilted that much, unless it involves doing quilting with my stitching. Yeah, the yeah. two go together. The two really go well. together for me. So Karen Krauss likes the, the golden dream. She says it's very yeah. dreamy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is. Thank you. First counted work she did was a dragon with a bazillion wow. colors. <laughs> Wow. Some metallic threads. That must have been quite the, you probably only like took a week for that. All, uh, you know, a whole week for that, right, Donna? Yep. <laughs> uh, Kate. Uh, maybe a year. Pretty, what number is that one? Um, would be nice that for my niece's wedding in yeah. the fall. I think it's number 23. 23. There, we start again at the top, just for briefly, so you can see it again. I love that um, little yellow in the middle there. That is mm -hmm. meant to be the sun. And stand on the threshold of a dream. And lots of lovely colors. And we have an backpack for this one too. And a okay. little bit of hardinger at the bottom. I don't know if we still have that backpack. Oh, available. don't we? Uh oh. Probably not. Uh oh. Yeah, the backpack is probably not available. Anymore. Well, you know, it's going to be nice no matter what thread you Absolutely. use. Absolutely. As long as you kind of follow the um, the picture on the yeah. front. Yeah. You know, and I mean, you, you can very easily change the colors to suit the wedding as well. And isn't that the nice Absolutely. thing to do if you know what the colors are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably true. There's a lot of what um what we call tone on tone um, in here. Yes. So that tone on tone yeah. can include some of the different colors. And if they have like we use blue green, for instance, I use blue green mm -hmm. in here. Well, you can change the blue green to like yes. a yellow green. Absolutely. Or whatever you like. And then we have one more. Oh, <laughs> blend a needle. Okay. Yes, we do have one more. That's okay, uh, Deb. Don't worry about double posting. Yeah, we'll, we'll get over it. We'll yeah, we'll, we'll forgive you. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy uh, says, "I learned to do counter cross stitch in the ninth grade in 1983." <laughs> Tammy, you've got a good memory. I did some freehand embroidery and candlewick embroidery before that. Oh, you've always wow. been busy doing things. I think Tammy. Loretta said, "I started doing counter cross stitch in my early 20s." In the mid '80s, it was a teddy bear. A teddy bear, oh, yeah. I don't remember yeah. what it was. So cute. <laughs> so we have one more. We do. Okay. Yep. And this one is. This one is called Heart Delight, and it is a pocket, a bookmark, a little scissor fob, and a little biscornu here down in the bottom. We don't have the biscornu available no, here. I, I guess it's in a different box. It but is. I do have the little bookmark, mm -hmm. which really actually would be cute as a Valentine bookmark, wouldn't uh, it? Yes. Like that would go so easily. By the way, I have a tag hanging from it, so that's where that is. And look at how many oh. hearts we're getting. Yeah. Everybody loves this one. It's it would be so a really cute. good little learning piece. It is. Yes. There's lots of little yes. stitches in yes. it, but not too much. Not too much. You got some Rhodes hearts in there, some queen stitches, a little bit of fold work. 
Exactly. A little bit of heart anger, like simple, simple heart anger. You could put a few dove's eyes in if you're mm -hmm. comfortable. But mm -hmm. other than that, this is very simple. And then there is a little pocket, which was uh, really good uh, to hold your phone in. That's right. You can also <laughs> put your cell phone in this one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just in case you have an emergency walking down the aisle. <laughs> and, you know, you've got your name on there. Just in case you forget who you are. <laughs> exactly. So what we have here actually is a pocket that you can also give to a bride. I mean, why not? It's got yeah. hearts all over it as or, well. Or you can make it um, for your next stitching retreat. And that way you can put your uh, room key in it and yeah, whatever that's else. Right. That's right. Yeah. And your phone. And your phone. <laughs> Don't forget that. Don't forget the phone. I think the Biscornu is in the free patterns section. Oh, that's could probably be. why it's in a different yeah, box. So I didn't get be. it out. Sorry about that. Yeah. And that be. number is number one oh five. Thank you. So I'll put it back in this little plastic container. We try to keep our models looking good. We have so many models and hardly enough room to keep them on my walls or in, <laughs> in drawers. <laughs> Kate says, my high school teacher, Barbara Gilbert, oh, I remember Barbara Gilbert, <laughs> taught us different types of needlework in high school in a home ec class. Uh, yeah. Started with counted cross stitch yeah. bookmark. <laughs> You're kidding. Isn't that cute? I think Barbara Gilder, Gilbert is here in Victoria, so you must you, be too. Absolutely, yes. Kate Berzik says, oh, no, oh, that's already. Hang on a second. Michelle Luzon says yeah. hello. Yeah. Hello yeah. to you. Sorry, I'm losing control here. <laughs> <laughs> Not, sorry nothing Lo new. losing control with no it's not i have very difficulty speaking of which i had problems locking the office door again last night i got here this morning i said carolyn is it just me or is it my the key or lock and she helped me she said no i don't think it's just you and i went thank goodness for that <laughs> you feel so out of control yeah, that's right yeah Aw, I just need to finish the hearts delight. Love it, but then I love hearts. Yeah. Isn't that the truth, Karen? Thank you. And Deb says you can clear some space and send some models my way. Now, there's a thought. At one point or another, I guess I'll be selling them or, or sell. giving yeah, them away at right. some point. But we still need them. We need so, them right now. So. In fact, we're going to be putting, uh, like we have all of, on our website, we have all the front covers of all the designs on yeah. there, right? But we don't have any touch you know, tux, touchy, I don't know what Texture. I'm trying to say, textural yeah. kind of photographs mm -hmm. where you can really get up close and personal with them. So that's going to be starting and I'm going to have to do photographs for hundreds of yeah. designs. But I think on the new website, we also have the capability of doing live videos on there too, or videos of some sort. We do. We do. But no, no, I need the pictures you too. You need the pictures too. <laughs> Make give me another job. Show me how to use the camera. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then you're going to have fun. And then right? I'm going to have fun. And then you're just going to be stitching and exactly. finishing like crazy. I'm going to move everything else. You know, book all the bookkeeping is going to be gone. <laughs> and... You're not going to do any more layout. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. Well, no, I still like that. I like the layout. I like the. Problem is, I like doing everything, and that's really my does. problem. Yeah, she really is. I, and the thing is that it's not a problem to me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy, girl. Well, that was really um, all our models, wasn't it? I think that was all the models. Yeah. So Jennifer says here, if I can get that back up, uh, right I before the wedding, that he had a car waiting. <laughs> In case he changed his mind. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jennifer, you're hilarious. Your husband is even more hilarious. Oh, funny. I bet you poked him one in the ribs. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Oh, I'm Just so glad, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. So um, this week, um, we've had a whole bunch of things that we've gotten done, but the website is not quite ready yet. It's not quite ready yet. Damn it. Because yep. what we're doing is we're working on the shipping so that Canadians can buy. Absolutely. Um, at a reasonable shipping rate. Exactly. And we're also putting in, as <laughs> um, far as I know, we will be creating a membership um, yes. uh, subscription. And in that membership subscription will be a lot of goodies things that, that will help you that um, save money on any ordering that you're doing yeah. with regard to shipping and whether, you know, you like to buy something that's um, uh, something that you really need, but you want to save it in our wish list, which we're going to put yeah. in and those and, and we'll put those together so that you don't have to spend so much on shipping. 
Um, and then we're going to have uh, some patterns in there. Um, yeah, special patterns. patterns. Special patterns mm -hmm. for just the membership. Yeah. Um, so. Special finishing videos for the membership. That's why she wants to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're really dreaming up a whole bunch of wonderful things for our members. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'll be a subscription, but it'll be really lots of things in there. Absolutely. Lots of value. And, and more things will be added as the mm -hmm. years go on. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Yeah. We, we were, we're talking about we're, it the other day. Exactly. And I have so all excited. sorts of ideas. <laughs> I just need the time to do them. So. <laughs> well, you can do it when you get home. I can. Yes. That's the uh, unfortunate outside of work. Yeah, outside of work. Yes, that hasn't been working well for me lately because I get home and I'm just tired. But last night I actually stitched, which is not uh, a usual thing that I do midweek anymore. So that oh, was kind of nice. You. Yeah. It's nice when you find the times to stitch when you are working in a stitch company. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right. During the day, no, no such time. No so. time. But what well, are you doing this weekend? Stitching. Stitching? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. finish the little Victorian oh, the, cottage. The cottage, yes. Well, I'm going to yes. be finishing um, my little piece as well this weekend. Which one? Um, the spring is sprung. Oh, yes, you're yeah. restitching that. I I'm think restitching that. Stitching that is going to be uh, really nice. We're going to have a little model Absolutely. that we can show. Absolutely. Well, that sounds like all we need to kind of yep. discuss today. I'm trying to look around in my little environment here, but I don't see I anything think that's else. Everything. So not I, yet. I guess this is the end of the uh, the stream for today. I guess so. Yeah. Facebook so, Friday is always so much fun. It's it hard is. to say goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye, but I guess we must. I must get on with the rest of my day, otherwise I'm not going to get to the fun stuff. I so, know, you know, and I have to go to the hospital for a CT yep. scan, oh, yeah. which not, reminds me, I have fun. to drink. Drink your water. Mm -hmm. Drink your water mm -hmm. while we say goodbye to everybody. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. I have a glass that says Victoria Sanford and my name. Oh. Thanks to a wonderful person oh, who gave yes. it to me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, anyways, until next time. Yeah, have a wonderful weekend. Absolutely. See you have next a good time. week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.